Hello, this is the tutorial that I'm going to show you on how to utilize the Infinite Campus Teacher Messenger system. If you'll notice, um, the Messenger section is under Instruction, so if we click on that and scroll down, you'll notice there's a section called Messenger. There are three options for the tools that you can use um, to take the data that is stored in the gradebook or on the Infinite Campus account and you can communicate with parents utilizing this tool. The first one um, I'm going to start with is Teacher Messenger. Okay, So if we click on Teacher Messenger you'll notice that it pulls up and Okay, so you'll notice that um, we come to this screen where it takes the students that I have in my class for whichever section that I have um, loaded into the gradebook right now. And so right now I have my seminar class loaded into the gradebook. And so um, I can utilize this tool to uh, send a message out to the parents of the student or I can even choose the students. I can actually send it out to students also since they have email accounts. Um, so I'm going to send one to the guardian so that's that's an automatic click. It's already there and done for you. Um, and we're going to say that I want to send it to my whole class. And so all I have to do for that is to hit select all and it pulls all of my students parents over into this category and they will receive uh, the email from me. And um, you also, if there are only certain parents that you're wanting to contact through Infinite Campus, then you can you can pick and choose and just click on the ones that you're wanting. And if you have one over here, um, it says just click on a person to remove them from the list. So you can just click and it will, like a double click, will remove them and kick them out. Okay? The next thing that you'll notice down here is delivery devices. So the amazing thing and um, what I love about the Infinite Campus Messenger is that parents will not only receive a message from me in their Infinite Campus site, which not all parents necessarily use that, um, but they will receive a message to know that I've tried to contact them not only in Infinite Campus, um, account but they also get an email sent to them personally and so I find that this is a uh, is a good motivator and once I send one of these messages out to the parents email they're more likely to respond to me um, so you'll notice here we can um, start with the message subject and create a brand new file or um, you can access I have I have quite a few templates up here so once you've started sending messages you will have a collection of templates and so um, you can just select that template and send it on it makes it very easy I'm gonna go ahead and just use uh, one, a template that I've already had before and so I clicked on that so it's gonna load it for me Okay, and since I did that after I had already put parents in, I'm going to go ahead and reselect parents to load that template. And you'll notice this is a message that I sent last year. And so for this year, what I can do is just adjust the dates um, and, and then resend it or just check to, to make sure everything's up to date here. All right. Um, if you were going to do a blank template, you would just type in basically your letter. You would give it a message subject and then you would type what you wanted to do and what it, you wanted your parents to know. And then you can go ahead and just hit send. Um, this also gives you the option if there is like a flyer or an assignment that maybe most kids didn't take home with them or something, you can choose that file and you can upload it. Um, and then it'll be sent as an attachment with your message. Another thing here, uh, once you're finished, you can go ahead and hit preview and send.
and then it'll pop up and then it shows you right here it shows how many people are in that that you're trying to contact how many actually have an infinite campus account that would be your process inbox who's going to get a message to infinite campus and then you'll see who has emails okay and since we have a higher number up here of recipients than emails we can go ahead and review those recipients and i'll show you what uh, that's going to look like and if you'll notice here it it gives you an idea you know what student it is you know who their parent is and whether that parent has an email or not so you can kind of go through there if it's something very important that you want every parent to have access to you can check to make sure everyone has an email and if they don't then you can print off hard copies to actually give to your students and you'll you can uh, check that out here okay then um, something else you can do is you can actually preview that message to make sure that it's what you're wanting it to say and that you don't have any mistakes and even though this is a bulk message even though it's a bulk message um, you'll notice that it goes to the individual parent so they aren't going to see every kid's name or every parent's name on there um, that's in the same class so that's pretty nice all right so I'm gonna go ahead and click out of that and I'm gonna hit save and return and then what you would do is hit send message if everything's okay I'm obviously not gonna send these back out to my students from last year so I'm gonna close that down um, so let's say I've sent this message but now I want to I want to also send this to three other classes all I have to do is go up to the top and I would I would just click a new hour and it'll reload and since I have right up here this template has been loaded so it's it still has it there sometimes it corrects and and will kick you back out to a brand new one but all, the only thing you'd have to do in order to find that same letter you just wrote is go back through on your templates you find where it is you click it and it'll load if it if it doesn't stay there and so here we've already done the hard work we've typed up the message we just hit select all all our inbox and email is right there we can scroll down everything should be the same and then you just hit preview send so your message now can be distributed to all of your parents or the students depending on what you chose and it takes about basically most of your time is typing the letter and then you just send it and it's easy 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 and you're communicating with parents if you have any questions uh, you can contact me through my website and give me an email thanks bye